let's bring our outside in. So we're here with Clay with Enchanted Forest and we're glad to see you. Please help me grow some items inside. Okay, great. So houseplants have become one of my favorite things to grow. I never thought I'd be a big houseplant person, but now I have about 35 in my home and it's becoming a jungle, but I love it. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are Calathea orbifolia and these are just so beautiful. We just got these in yesterday and they are fantastic. So one of my favorite houseplants are these Brazil philodendrons. These have become one of the easiest things to grow. And I started out with a plant this small and I now have it in a hanging basket and it's draping down all over my desk. It's, it's awesome, awesome plant. A good starter. Very good starter, very good For starter. For an indoor plant, good. Fiddly figs are excellent starters as well. And these actually detoxify the air in your home. So these Sansevieria, these are both very good uh, detoxifying plants for your home. Uh, bromeliads are very easy and be very beautiful. They come in a wide array of colors as Look well. Look at that color. Peace lilies, everybody knows about peace lilies. Yep. These are also great for detoxifying your home and they're so, so easy to take care of. A lot of things here, most things pretty easy to take care of. As it starts to get some of the rare, harder to find things, they get a little difficult. But with time and energy and patience, always patience with gardening, you can get them to grow anywhere in your home. So when I bring some of these house plants home, I need to repot them, right? Don't leave them in the plastic pot. You actually, a lot of times you can leave them in the plastic pots for a little bit. And okay. we actually have a ton of stand-in pots. And so a lot of set-in pots, people use for house plants and they come in so many cool colors and you don't have to worry about draining them or anything because they will suck some of the water out from the bottom that still stays in there. Nice. So the set-in pots are really handy for house plants. Okay. Uh, you know, it used to be everyone wanted the whole jeweled in their pot, but now people are catching on that set-ins are pretty good option for house plants. Okay. Okay. Well, that's great. And then when do I know if I eventually do need to replant it in a pot? Just uh, they'll become so root bound. I mean, root bound is for some things like the fiddly fig here. These actually start doing better when they're root bound. Same with Pothos um, and these Brazil philodendrons, some of the leaves will get bigger and bigger as they get root bound, but there's a limit to everything, right? Mm -hmm. So when it starts becoming an issue with your watering it every day, oh, no. you need to repot them. Okay. And uh, you know, Ocean Forest, um, Fox Farms Ocean Forest Potting Soil, that's my go-to for all my house plants. I, I use that, I'm, it's probably a big part of my wallet going into there, but. <laughs> so food necessarily, do we need to feed the Yes, house? yes. Um, you feed them with, you know, um, algae, algae-based uh, fertilizers would be good. A fish emulsion is a really good one too. Okay. Uh, Fox Farms, Holy Mackerel or the Kelp Me, Kelp You. Those okay. are both very good All right. fertilizers for house All right. plants. And the sun, since they're house plants, they're obviously not getting direct sun. Mm -hmm. Do we need to move them outdoors ever? No, no, for the most part, you know, you need to find Find a lot of things just like bright light. You don't okay. need to have them. You don't need to have them direct sun. Even uh, you know, I have them. Some of my facing a north window that only get ambient light, and they still do well. Okay. I mean, a, a lot of these things, uh, particularly fiddly figs, they they can handle some uh, you know lower light environments. They don't want darkness, of course, but yeah. they can yeah. handle some lower light. And these Brazil philodendrons as well. Well, great. Well, there is quite a wide variety and I love the hanging plants too. Oh, for yeah. inside. You just awesome. don't think about that. These are awesome. And when these, these can sometimes break off too, and you can put these in pots, these will propagate so easily. Oh. All these little sticks here, these are all air roots. So you can propagate them very, very easily. That is great. So we can just spread the joy in the house. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, thanks very much for giving us a little 101 on house plants. Yeah, no problem.